on 25th August 2017, ESCOM submitted its application for allowable revenue. This was in accordance with the Energy Regulator's decision of 20, 27 July 2017, where ESCOM was given 30 calendar days to submit an application that complies with the requirement of the NYPD methodology and the minimum information requirement for tariff application, what you often call, uh, call NIRTA. ESCOM has applied for allowable revenue for 219,514 billion. This application consists of eight broad categories of qualifying expenditure, namely a return uh, on asset, operating expenditure, primary energy, uh, cost of independent power producers, depreciation, integrated demand management, research and development, and levies and taxes. I would also like to provide you with a big a brief background on the due process followed by the energy regulator in making this decision. On 13 September 2017, ESCOM's application was published on NASA's website, along with an invitation to stakeholders to submit written comments. A total of 23,000 written comments were received from stakeholders consisting uh, of comments from private individuals, small users, intensive energy users, non-government organizations, and environmental activists, as well as local government and other stakeholders. The energy regulator conducted public hearings in eight provinces of South Africa from 30th of October to 22nd of November 2017. The public hearings afforded interested and affected stakeholders the opportunity to submit their views, facts, and evidence. A total of 96 oral presentations were made. The public. Ladies and gentlemen, based on the available information and the analysis of ESCOM's allowable revenue application for the 2018-2019 financial year, the energy regulator has approved ESCOM's allowable revenue of 190, 190,3 8 billion rents, so 190,348 billion rents. This approved allowable revenue of 190,348 billion will result in average percentage increase of 5.23 percent. 